Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Katrina Trijos and I'm the Adobe Express Evangelist. Um, and I'm so excited to be here today for a work with me session, um, which is basically a special segment on Adobe Live where we work on a project together. And yeah, I'm just so excited to be here. Um, shout out to everyone in chat today. Hi, Cody. Hi, Keys. Hi, Alejandro. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Jack. Hi, Arshia. Hi, Umacorn. Oh my gosh. And I'm also watching on YouTube as well. So hello to everyone on YouTube. Hi, Howard. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, hey, Katrina, I haven't seen you on stream in a long time. I know. I was just thinking that. <laughs> I was like, when was the last time that I was solo doloing it on Adobe Live. It's been a minute, right? So I'm excited that I get y'all for an hour. Um, and we are going to work on a video project today. So if you didn't know, our community team goes on a ton of in-person events. Um, and it's called the Create Now series, and we also do Express for Marketers events. So if you want us to come to your city, let me know in the chat. Um, but this past few weeks, I was in San Diego and I was in Atlanta. So I really want to work on um, a reel for the Atlanta event because uh, I definitely have more footage on that. And I thought it'd be just so fun to like cover some of the video features and also ask answer any video specific questions. So let's just hop on over to my screen here. Okay, um, and so we are in Adobe Express and we already kind of started our project here. Um, we have the blank canvas and I do have a separate window off to the side that has all my B-roll. We came prepared. That's the first step of good and effective video editing is making sure that your footage is organized and like layers make sure they're named so you know what clip is what. Um, and we're just we're just gonna have a good time, okay? Because even though we do have a longer time today, it's, we do have an hour together, video editing can take a very, very long time. So, um, hello everyone. Hi, Robert. Hi, Anika. Welcome to the stream. A little sprout. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to notice the sprout. Yes, I put in a little sprout clip. This is a... Uh, this is a last minute fashion decision. <laughs> I just thought it'd be super fun, you know, maybe the clip will help sprout some new ideas today. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Naming layers, Psh, I know Howard, who does that these days? Okay, so we're just gonna start with the base of our video. So this is kind of how I like to edit a lot of my vlogs. Um, and usually I'll just put down the clip. So we have our timeline down here on the bottom. Um, you can also add certain scenes. So we're just going to start off with, um, the intro clip. Um, let me see. Do I have, here we go. I have my talking intro. <laughs> Thank goodness. I, uh, labeled everything. So we're just going to give it a few minutes to upload and then we're just going to just add some clips. And I'm going to be honest, this will be the most tedious part of today's stream. So if you have any questions in the comments to kind of fill the time of uploading each clip and like cutting things down, uh, feel free to drop them in. Um, so while that clip is uploading, I'm going to add another scene, which basically creates a brand new page, um, is how I like to think about it. And so from there, we're just going to add in some, uh, some more clips like, I, okay, I thank goodness I, I labeled them because it, it shows like what's going on chronologically. Um, and then if the timeline or the clips are getting kind of long, you can adjust the view um, and like kind of shrink it down so the clips don't like take up the entire timeline. Okay, so we have food prep. Okay, I labeled this clip Katrina prep. Oh yeah, that's that's what I look like prepping for a demo. Um, <laughs> and then what's this one? This one is, um, okay, we have Torin presenting. We have, okay, we have a bunch of B-roll. Okay, what is this one? This one says event prep. What is this? Okay, that's everyone preparing. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have these clips. 
Okay, okay. And then now, now I think we can get on with the event. Um, oh no, is it buffering? Is it buffering? Oh my gosh, friends! Did I lose you guys? Sorry. Did I lose you guys for a sec? It might also be I am running two different chats. Um, okay. Probably the lag because of the video. Oh, oh! That is such a good point. Wait, that is such a good point. Okay, wait. That is such a good point. Let me refresh the page. Okay, how are we doing now on the stream? Are we doing okay? Okay, now all my clips are breaking. <laughs> okay, wait one second. Start over. Okay, it looks good now. Okay, okay. Well, my project is wrecked, but it's okay. It's okay. We didn't get that far anyways. Okay, noted. We're not going to do that long intro clip. <laughs> okay. Pretend y'all didn't see anything. <laughs> okay, we're back to normal. Okay. Good looking out, chat. Good looking out. Because usually I have good... I have good internet. Best believe I got that high speed fiber uh, ethernet kind of internet. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Anyways. Um, okay. Back to where we were. Okay. We started with food prep, right? Okay. And now we have event prep. And now we have, okay, speed, speed, speed. We're speed running it. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh, Kat Katrina prep. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy that I preloaded all of this. Okay. Um. Da -da -da. Okay, Katrina Prep. And then we have Jordan and Terry. Oops, it added it over here. I meant to put it as a new scene. Okay, so we have a bunch of clips here. Let's start here first, and then we can add some more later. I don't want to break it again. <laughs> Okay, so we have the clip. Okay, nice, nice. Now, in order to like scrub the videos or like to trim the clips, you can easily just drag the playhead and it'll scrub like so. And then we can do something like this just to trim the clips. And I like, I like this editor because it's really precise. I've used a lot of like these light video editors, um, back in, back in my day. And, um, this one's actually pretty good. Okay. Oops. I keep right clicking on accident. Mubby. Okay. So we're doing this. Is it buffering again? Erg. This is, okay, I wonder what's going on. Hold on. Huh. It could be definitely, hold on. 
A little smorgasbord. It is a smorgasbord. I do see I am dropping frames like crazy, so it definitely might have to do with the uploading with the stream. But we're gonna we're gonna push on through, and then maybe. Are you still downloading something? I'm not downloading really anything. It might be like uploading like the video. Hmm. Not downloading anything. Let me see. Internet seems okay. CPU is okay. Let me see. Hmm. Seems fine for the most part. Okay. We're pushing on through. Is it, do you, okay, chat question. Do you find that the stream is, what's it called? Every time I upload a clip, it skips? Cause it could be that I'm uploading maybe too many clips at once. So first, I don't wanna get rid of Torrin's lovely work. So we're just going to keep on lightly editing, but I do see the drop frames on my end. So any stream wizards in the chat, feel free to let me know if you see anything. On my end, playback is looking fine. Looks better for me now. Okay. So maybe it is every time I upload a clip. It, you know, because streaming is like you're uploading, right? Um, it's your it's your upload speed. Essentially, I'm uploading a video in real time on YouTube <laughs> and while uploading clips, so it could be a little intense. But we'll, we'll keep on pushing. We'll keep on pushing. Uh, uh, maybe I'll take it a little slow. Maybe the speed run was a little bit too speedy. Ah, Jordan's so cute. Okay. Also, how is the the audio? I'm sorry if it's like really loud. Um, okay, so this is a cute video of Jordan, so I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to split that. And then I actually got Terry. Y'all know Terry White. I got him to throw up some peace signs. Okay. <laughs> we're definitely putting that in there <laughs> for sure. Scrubbing seems to be affected. Okay, okay. Downloading clips in a project. Yeah, it's definitely uploading. Okay, we're gonna try to do this. Okay, that's one great thing to note. When you're streaming and uploading clips or, you know, doing, um, doing video editing in Express, it'll be very machine heavy for all my video editor streamers out there. So we're gonna try our best. We're gonna keep pushing and chat. You let me know if this this video is unwatchable and then we can <laughs> find a solution together okay okay so for these clips let's um uh, let's actually mute this so there are a couple different things that you can do with videos in express um if you just click on it um you can actually mute the entire clip so that if you wanna do more of like a B-roll or something cinematic where you just layer music over, you can totally do that with just one click. You don't need to like, you, you can adjust the volume if you wanted some of that ambient sound still in there, but we're just gonna straight up mute it today. I'm gonna mute that. And then you can also adjust like the speed ramping of the clips, um, the opacity, the blend mode, and you know, all that usual stuff that you could do. Ah. This looks so fun. Okay. So we have the food. All right. And then, all right. Okay. We have this nice little pan of us working. We have me presenting. Very cute. Okay. The team's call just started. <laughs> Are you in Atlanta? I'm not. In this video, I was though. It's Jordan and uh, Terry. 
Let's go. Okay. He definitely doesn't know I'm using <laughs> these clips. But yes, this is actually, this event was in the new Atlanta office. Um, so yeah, we had a uh, Express for Marketers event there. So fun, fun times. Um, okay, so we have that. And then let's do some event footage. Okay, I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna preface this. Um, might, might start buffing again, buffering again, okay? Just hang in there, hang in there with me. Maybe we'll do a question in chat, just in case. So I'm slowly gonna drop in some clips. <laughs> Dropping in some clips. Uh, okay, let's have Torin present. All right, there's another one. Oh, oh, it's a long one. Okay. I'm trying to go slow. <laughs> okay, what is this clip? I don't know what this is. This is Torin cat prep. Okay, this is this is when we were okay. Okay, this was Jordan's camera And then we got An audience clip so I'm just dragging and if you just drag it straight onto the timeline it will create a new um, What's it called a new scene it'll create a new scene Okay, should do that, and then, yeah, I think that's fine, this, we can, we can stop it there, I don't want it to, if that's the reason for the buffering, okay, it's not buffering, okay, okay, maybe the speed run was a little intense, the screens are huge, they were ginormous, I was like, I had to present there? <laughs> Press for markers. Okay. Let me see the volumes on this. Oh yeah, it's a it's a little loud. It's a little loud. I apologize. Um so let's just mute the clips. Actually, let's make it a little Let's keep it at a 10%. Let's hear. I I got a I posted a version of this reel on my Instagram. And someone made a comment saying Terry has a very jazzy voice. Now, I don't want to rob y'all of Terry's jazzy voice. So we're just going to put it at a 10% a here for folks. <laughs> okay. So. Right, we're looking pretty good here. How many of you are uh, small business owners, individual consultants, or individual buyers? Cool. How many of you just have to do a lot of? I did this in Photoshop. I just clicked. Okay. I look like this Torin presenting. Ah, oh, this is such a good event, y'all. If you ever see a Create Now or Express for Marketers um, ad or something on social, and you see we're in your city, please come. These events are super fun and imagine just imagine like Adobe Live, but in person, you know, like it's very, very similar experience. And it's just so fun to go out and meet the community um, and stuff and meet other creatives. Um, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a, such a good time. It's just like a big, a big learning party. <laughs> okay. So we'll cut these clips and we have Torin here. Okay. All right, cool. So when I'm cutting like clips like for, for B-roll like this that are where I'm just gonna overlay music, um, I, uh, I really like to do, uh, what's it called? I really like to get people's like action like I, I like to cut the part or keep the part where people are doing the most action so see where uh Torin is like raising his hands he's making a point you know and then before I can pan away here 
to Jordan. Um, we're gonna cut it like right there. And then here I'm just right clicking and doing split. But you, there are keyboard shortcuts. Um, I'm just not quite familiar with my, my PC shortcuts yet because it's different from iOS or not iOS from Mac. Um, okay, and then we have this one. Who filmed this? I did not film this. This was definitely Jordan. Okay, okay, we have this. Terry's still speaking. And then we're still sitting down. Okay, so these clips are definitely out of order. So, <laughs> I'm torn. Okay. And then, just gonna drag this. We're just gonna put it before the clip of Torin speaking. That way we can have a little, you know, there's consistency, but also a little break from, you know, that certain angle of Torin and Terry speaking. Terry's Instagram, yes! Drop the link. Thank you, Cody, for dropping Terry's link. And if you, oh my gosh, on his latest post, on his latest post, tell him, <laughs> we should all leave a comment and say, hello, Terry. I don't know what to say. Something about his jazzy voice or something. Or just say like you're coming from Adobe Live. <laughs> you're a great presenter. Something like that. Someone make an official an official comment so he knows so he knows y'all came from uh, Adobe Live. Um uh, Howard said, I wonder what Adobe Podcast would do with that audio. Ooh. Ooh. Don't give me any ideas now, ha uh, Howard. We'll run this whole thing through podcast. Okay. Oh yeah, it'll work so well. Okay, well you can even cut this, trim this part a little bit more. If I ever come to Atlanta again, I'll drop in. Last time I was visiting Ikea. Wow! Ikea in Atlanta, do they got something special? Alright, so with that said, I'm gonna go in now and just kind of walk you through the Perfect. Okay, so since the previous shot already had Terry speaking, I don't know about including him again. So maybe we could do this. Looks good. And then we're going to split this clip here. Oh, look at me using keyboard shortcuts. Okay, and then we're going to speed it over here because I think this clip is really cute showing um, me being anxious about public speaking as per usual and torn making a silly face i feel like it it adds character adds spice love it okay and then we have torn up okay nice and then jordan speaking here we have a nice shot of the audience so fun love it Hello, Terry. Coming from Adobe Live, you're a great presenter. Something about your jazzy voice. There it is. There it is. Cody Bear's got it. Everyone in chat, <laughs> copy and paste. <laughs> copy paste the sentence. Maybe throw in some emojis and comment that on Terry's latest post or even his story. Did y'all see his story? I feel like this is a show about how to edit videos on Adobe Express and also how much we love Terry. I love it. Two of my favorite topics. <laughs> um, but what I was saying was his, uh, does anyone have an Apple Vision Pro? Because Terry just posted him working on a plane using the Apple Vision Pro. And I think that is wild, like in the best way. And I tried to imagine me working on an Apple Vision Pro because I don't usually like to uh, edit videos or do any work on my laptop on planes because I'm in economy so you know my elbows are like here <laughs> and I have a 16 my my work laptop 16 inch uh, MacBook Pro and so one it's heavy and two it's bigger than the tray table so if eh, I'd rather not but the fact that he just busted out the Apple Vision Pro and started working amazing 
technology has gone so far. But yes, anyways, I digress. Cody Bear, comment <laughs> that on Terry's latest post so he knows y'all came from Adobe Live and the Adobe Live family. Um, okay, so we have our base clips here. So now I think uh, we'll stop here. And the video is done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we're going to add in some text. Let's do some bells and whistles, okay? Um, so let's add in from the text tab. Well, you can definitely use one of these um, text, what are these called? Lockups, text lockups, text templates. Um, and uh, yeah, these are pretty good if you want to like jazz up your titles. Like I see a lot of folks using this one a ton. Like I think this is so cute. So we can actually, we'll use it, we'll use it. Usually I just stick to like plain white text. I know I'm very boring, but um, this is where we're feeling fun today. Event, uh, no, no, no. Event recap sounds weird. Let's do, um, Adobe Express event. No, 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 no. <laughs> event recap. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> y'all, listen. Another thing with video editing. Um, how many of y'all are act are video editors though? For real. In chat. Uh, raise your virtual hand. Um, but this is my actual thought process when I'm working on a video. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't like that idea. I hate it. And then I'll go back and be like, you know what? It's actually not that bad. <laughs> so let me know if you are the same way. And not just with video, but like anything. When making anything. Event recap. So cute. And then when you're adding text and different elements or if you're layering videos on top of each other, um, you can pop up in the layer timing and it will show this timeline thing, like this other, t what is the word, track, this track. And um, it'll it o it's only sp specific per scene. So for this event recap, it'll only be on the first scene. So if I wanted to add it, add this again, I would have to, Select this, copy it, select the next scene, and then paste it. And then that's kind of how I keep that consistency. Because I know I get that question of how to edit text or how to keep text or elements going across scenes. That's kind of how you do it. And then you just create the seamless effect. Uh, but we don't need that here. We'll just have it in here. And then we're going to have an animate in, which is another piece of the puzzle. But well, actually, I like to, okay, when I edit, I like to do this like a, like making a cake, you know, layer by layer. So we laid out all the clips. Now we're going to add in all of the text. And then we're going to add in all the bells and whistles, the animations, or anything like that. And then... This is weird. I probably should do this in the beginning, but I'll color grade my footage like at the end. I don't know why I do it at the end, but maybe it's because it's the final look that like puts it all together, but I don't know. I don't know why I do that, but that's kind of how I work when editing a video. Okay, so we have that text. Now we are going to add in another one. And we're gonna use our brand font. Of course, I'm on the wrong brand. Let's look for my 2024 brand. And then we're gonna use milk and clay. And we're gonna make it, why should I do this one? I do this one, no, that's not enough contrast. We'll do white today. And then this one, we'll put this at the bottom. And this will kind of be like our little like call out text. Now I found like, because we're editing this for Instagram and Reels, it doesn't have, I noticed that the text, when folks put text on their videos, it's very quick and dirty. Um, it's not, sometimes the text isn't like, not that it's not in, in the best spot, but like a lot of people just put out 
quick call outs versus like on YouTube videos where things are more polished, you want things a lot more legible, maybe the text is a little bit stylized more. So it all depends on your preference. But I found on social media, people don't really care, <laughs> which is freeing, but also a little disheartening. Just a little bit, but it's okay. We make do. Um, okay, event recap. Um, whoops, my Teams is on. <laughs> Come to, oh wait, no. Uh, event recap, express for marketers. Atlanta. Mm -mm, the frosting, then the cherry on top. Yes. You got it, Cody. Okay, so we'll just add like a little thing. And also, it looks quite small, but if you're thinking on the phone, the text is quite big. <laughs> okay, so. So we have that, and then now we're gonna move on to this next scene. And then uh, let's do, let's put it like here. We're gonna call this slide like uh, preparing for an, for an event, for the event. Preparing for the event. And let me actually left justify. I forgot to do that. Okay. Um, okay, I need to back it up. Or should I put this? I'll put this here. Now the thing is, is when you're putting text on um, Express, uh, you want to be conscious of like the overlays that'll happen on different social media platforms and typically you know that's usually where like you know the safe basically the safe zones so when it comes to placing text i never put stuff at the very top or at the very bottom because of you know the TikTok and instagram overlays like with your profile picture and then the caption and then the comments and then how they scroll so i try to leave room for that and i aim for like um, this is the middle, right? So this is the middle. I'll aim for like about halfway down, like around here. It's like two thirds down if you want to put your text at the bottom or if it's at the top, it's a little bit more forgiving because you only have like the, the logos or whatever at the top. So I'll aim it for like about here, which I guess is the same from the bottom, but like just if I were to eyeball it, like that's where I would place the text. And then I wouldn't put nothing on the right hand side because on the right hand side, it's all the buttons, like the like, the comment, um, save, share, all that stuff um, will be on the right side. So I just avoid the right as much as possible. So it's like, yeah, to so it's either center or two thirds up or two thirds from the, two thirds towards the bottom. So yeah, okay. So we have this, we're preparing for the event, and then also we can just have this just come out over there. You don't have to see it the whole time. All right, looks good. And then we'll put a little sentiment of me saying, oh my gosh, so nervous. Uh, presenting lol Kishu, do you mostly edit shorter videos? I do both so when I edit videos for social um, sometimes yeah I'll just straight up like do it on express or like things like reels and stuff anything under 60 seconds it'll go like here um, or sometimes if I'm really, really lazy, like if it's just one clip, I'll just upload it straight to Instagram and throw, throw in some text and use their tools. But if I know I need to like cut clips together like this for a short video, I will use um, a tool like Adobe Express or, you know. Um, but for longer tools, I do use an actual like video editing. Um, 
And so that's when you know you bust out the big guns with Premiere <laughs> and stuff. And um, th those are typically for my YouTube videos because I I'm not sure of the length of video for Express at the top of my head. It escapes me sometimes. Um, but I yeah I don't. I'm scared of that limit, which, but I'm sure the limit does in, does not exist, but I'm sure there's a limit that does exist, but um, I just am unsure of it right now. But I do know that if you have the premium plan, you have a hundred gigs of storage. So I'm assuming once you hit that, <laughs> then that's, the, that's where the limit is. <laughs> And then we could put something like, something fun here. Like, I know, I'm sorry the screen is so. <laughs> so small. But editing vertical on a horizontal platform is a struggle. Content aware video layout. That would be amazing. Um, okay, well, we could say, hi, Jordan. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Okay. Hi, Jordan! Okay. So maybe we'll put this maybe here. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's cute, that's cute, that's cute. And then we got Terry! <laughs> Terry. I think he's gonna go. Eh. <sighs> yeah. Oh, this is so fun. I'm having a lot of fun, y'all. I hope y'all are having a lot of fun despite our little technical hiccups earlier. <laughs> okay, now we watch it back. This is also a lot of video, part of the video editing process is scrubbing, playing it back and watching it again. And then we can put in another clip here. Could, and then Terry kicking off the presentation. And the reason why I'm like kind of labeling like what's going on in each clip is because not everyone watches a social videos with sound and some people also don't even read the captions so <laughs> it's nice to put like a little summary um it's nice to put like a little summary on each thing so that people have a general idea of what's going on um because yeah i i like to caption all my videos and i use the the i use the the captioning tool the the quick action in express all the time to caption my videos is my favorite uh video captioning uh tool to use and yeah but i know some of the built-in caption closed captioning sometimes isn't as accurate or some people don't even have that feature switched on um, so that's why I just like to add in some call out text here. Okay, preparing for an event. So many people joined. And it also, I feel like adding text like this adds a lot of personality, especially in a vlog. Um, because it kind of, I don't know, I don't know if you could hear it in my voice, but I could definitely hear it in my voice. Pop the name between the what? <laughs> between Jordan's fingers, what? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the name it lands in between her fingers. That's awesome. So many people join, wow. Okay, and then move on here. Oh my gosh, I remember this moment. I was so nervous. Okay. 
getting ready for our turn. I was so nervous. I always, honestly, I always get nervous during presentations. Despite the many years, not even the many years, I think I'm going on three years of being an evangelist. Despite the many presentations that I've done uh, with Adobe, I, I'm be honest, like, I just have perpetual stage fright that I have to work through every time I present. And even though it gives me like a pit in my stomach every time before I go on, you know, I feel like I've developed like some tools, some tricks and tools to like manage the anxiety better. Mm -mm -mm. Let's add a shape behind this one actually, because this one is hard to see just in general. Let's do our brand color. Let me do that and then turn down the opacity just to give it a little boost. And then we'll make this one center. Okay. Gonna join. And then we have Torn speaking. Which I forgot to mute. Did I mute this one? I did. Okay. And then we have Torn. That's so funny. I don't even include a clip of me presenting. <laughs> Whoops. That's okay. Torin using Photoshop and Adobe Express. Sweet. And I think for this one, we'll add a shape too, because this is, it's pretty busy. We can't really put it up here because it'll block the TV. So a shape it is. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna edit that. I'll we'll turn down the opacity just a tad. Okay, wait. I need to know what's the opacity for this one. This one was 35. Okay. Consistency, consistency. This one. I wasn't. I wasn't off by too much. And then we have this one and we're just gonna end it off with a thank you Atlanta. Boop, 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 boop. And I can center this. Okay, let's see how it All right, this one isn't too bad. I don't think it'll need a shape. Okay, cool. Um, pretty soon we should have the tech for customizing subtitles. Yeah, we do. We're not relying on hard subs in one single language systems. Multiple audio tracks too? Yes, that would be awesome. Uh, right before I present, especially in person, I always tell myself everyone watching is an NPC in my universe. <gasps> Everyone's an NPC. I love that. The audience is naked. Always works. Does it? <laughs> Does it? I think I mostly do the trick where I find a, not a familiar face, but I find a face and be like, you're my bestie. And now you're sitting here listening to my presentation. <laughs> so... Yeah. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All the text. And then if you see like the the video kind of flashing the previous frame, um, that's fine. Like don't worry about that. It's not happening in your actual video. It's just something that occasionally happens. 
but it's looking pretty good. I think this clip might be, can be a little shorter, which is fine. So many people joined, wow. Getting ready for our turn, wow. Okay, okay, we're telling a story. We're about to present. Ooh, getting nervous. Okay, now we're presenting. Now Tor uh, Torrent's presenting. Okay. <laughs> and then boom, it's done. Heck yeah, okay. This looks pretty great. So now that we have all the text in, um, we can do animations now actually. I typically don't, for the white text, I don't really do animations, but for big titles like this, let's do it. So we're just going to hit animation. We're gonna make it pop. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> and we can make it wiggle. I am a creature of habit. I love the wiggle effect. It is my go-to. It is my safety blanket. And then we can just make it pop. No, no, no. I always make it pop out. Let's make it do something different. Let's. <laughs> okay. So, uh, fun fact, Paul Tranny does not like the tumble effect. He makes fun of it all the time. So we're gonna show the tumble effect some love, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna use it. <laughs> oh gosh, just got home. Hi Barbara, we'll have to catch this later so I can listen from the beginning. Yes, definitely. We're covering video editing in Adobe Express. We're making a quick reel for social, um, and just talking about different uh, what's it called video features that you can do use in Express. How are the tricky part is getting the quest accomplished, right? I often fail. No, you don't. The quest item is to deliver your presentation and get a bunch of people to form a line after your presentation to ask you more questions. <laughs> Not enough Comic Sans. There's never enough Comic Sans. Oh my gosh. Howard, I have so many TikTok videos filmed about Comic Sans. <laughs> I hope you get a kick out of them. Oh, love it. Okay, cool. So now we have our little animation here. Um, let's also add in, let's do some music now. So we're gonna go into the media tab. And so we have, uh, you know, if, you use Adobe Express, you have access to the entire Adobe Stock Collection, which includes videos, photos, and audio. And if you have the premium subscription or you have Creative Cloud All Apps, you have an uncapped library of assets you can use. And so for the audio, we have all these different tracks. Um, so for this one, I wanna do, uh, let's do the Lo-Fi. Um, this is my go-to. Lo-Fi is super popular in um, the social media realms. Um, so let's do this, maybe this one. This one sounds cool. And then let's bring it down before we preview it. I, normally I'll preview it, like just hit the play and you can preview it, but because I'm on stream and it will play at 100%, you all will hate me. <laughs> <laughs> after the stream. So that's the only reason why I'm putting it on the timeline, lowering the volume and, and previewing the track. <laughs> okay. All right, cute. Okay, so that's cute, but it's a little too calm. Um, okay, let's shine my sparkling sunglasses. Get ready for streaming stutter. No, don't say that keys. Don't say that. Okay, I like this. This is pretty happy. And then you do have some audio controls like the volume or you can mute it. And um, as keys said right now, you can only include one audio track, but that doesn't mean you can only include one audio one audio clip. There you go. That's the word. 
um, because it feel because the audio goes until how long the video track is. But if you shorten the video track, you can actually go back into the audio library and add in a second track. So you can have two different types of music, but they'll just they just need to play like, um, you know, one after the other. Okay. So there is that misconception that you can only have one piece of music. No, you can. You can have two songs, just one has to end before the other one starts. I, I like this jazzy music to go with Terry's jazzy voice. <laughs> I love it. He's either gonna find this funny or we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one after the stream. <laughs> There you go. So that's what it sounds like with both of them, with both of the tracks. It just goes in right, it goes right into the next one. Okay, so we have this. And then because we don't have my talking intro, we got to do a little voiceover. Okay, this is, a, this is the part that I was most nervous about today because my audio clip was, I mean, my, my intro clip was, was too OP. So <laughs> it decided to, <laughs> to not show up today. Okay. So let's record this voiceover. You just hit voiceover and then select the mic and we're just going to start recording. Okay. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm so scared. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let me think about what I'm going to say. Okay. Oh gosh, this always takes a second. Okay, okay. Hey everyone, check out this event recap for the Adobe Express for Marketers in Atlanta. Uh, here we are preparing for this event, setting up the tech and making sure everything works. There's me presenting my piece and then now the events here. So Jordan and Terry were working registration. Look at them, they're so cute. And then Terry kicked us off with the presentation. And then after that, Torin and I were just counting down the minutes until it was our turn to present. But there were so many people that came and we were so excited to show you all, all the new things in Adobe Express. Hey, what's up? And then there's Torin. Whoa, look at that. And then Torin uh, presented and then I did, but I didn't get footage of that, but that's okay. But anyways, it was such a great event. Thank you so much, Atlanta. We hope to see you again soon. Good night. I don't know how much of that the stream caught, um, <laughs> but okay, we got it. We got it. And now we play it back. <laughs> I'm so scared. Hey everyone, check out this event recap for the Adobe Express for Marketers in Atlanta. Uh, here we are preparing for this event, setting up the tech and make sure everything works. There's me presenting my piece. And then now the events here. So Jordan and Terry were working Nailed registration. It. I know, right? They're so cute. And then Terry kicked us off with the presentation. And then after that, Torin and I were just counting down the minutes until it was our turn to present. But there were so many people that came and we were so excited to show you all all the new things in Adobe Express. Hey, what's up? And then there's Torin. Whoa, look at that. And then Torin uh, presented and then I did, but I didn't get footage of that, but that's okay. But anyways, it was such a great event. Thank you so much, Atlanta. We hope to see you again soon. Good night. Wow. That was, I'm surprised I got that in one take. I'm gonna be honest. Oh man. <laughs> that's insane. All right, so this, that's kind of, that is pretty good. This video is honestly in great shape, but because we're out of time, um, like uh, the next steps of this would probably to um, adjust the coloring of the footage, maybe like make things a little lighter. And that's super simple. You just go to adjustments and you have all these controls here. And I, I don't do too much with footage. I just either up the brightness and lessen the contrast. If like the lighting's a little too harsh or I'll adjust the warmth, but nothing too crazy. Just making sure the footage looks great. Everyone's features are great. Um, 
you know the lighting is awesome but yeah and then once that's done then i'll download it uh create i'll create a real cover which we can talk about in a later stream if you want to see that but you know that's all the time we have for today i'm so sad that's so sad but that's kind of a look into how i edit my videos for social media i hope you all learned something from today's stream and enjoyed despite all the technical difficulties we still had a lot of fun we made it through to the end so that's a win for me but if you want to learn more about Adobe Express, how to edit your videos, um, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, join the Discord server for Adobe Express, and also give me a follow on social media because I post a lot of these tutorials on my Instagram especially. I post a lot of these event recaps. And if you have any questions post-stream, that's where I'm most active and will most likely see your questions. So with that, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. All right, goodbye.